I was like, what? I've never heard that. That's fabulous. Hello, welcome to Turtle Burger Crochet and Knitting Podcast, episode 15. My name is Brittany. Today is Monday, June 20th, 2022. Um, I have one finished object and lots of whips and a couple of um, future things that I want to make that will be casted on hopefully this week. So let's jump into finished objects. My first finished object was a sock test knit. This is the Princess Cuff Shorty by Haxan Evers of Freeform Knits. I believe is what it's called. I'm pretty sure it's Freeform Knits. Um, she has a channel here on YouTube, so I will link all of her information below. This was a cuff down sock. It has a Pico edge. It is made on a, um, it's kind of weird. It was a 2.75 millimeter needle and still a 56 cent or 56 count stitch, which is what I usually do on a 2.25 millimeter needle. But anyway, so it has the Pico cuff and then goes into this really lovely design. It uses a gar well, actually she has instructions for two. I chose to do the garter heel and then she does what is called, I don't know if it's a, you know, an actual toe or not, but it is called a hat trick toe. And it finishes off like you do kind of the top of a hat. Um, I think I will definitely be making this sock again at some point. I think when I do it, instead of finishing it off like the top of a hat, what I will end up doing is once I get to I don't know, maybe six or eight um, stitches on each needle. I will just Kitchener it because I like the look of that better, but I was glad that I tried this for her test. These fit really well, and yesterday, just for fun, because I was curious what would happen, I threw them in the wash and dryer, They just because I was curious if they would felt. It did not felt per se, but it did get a little fuzzy and have a little pilling, but I don't mind that. It made them super, super soft, and I kind of liked that a little better. The yarn that I used, um, I used about 40, maybe 44 grams, I think it was, um, and this is Southern Skeins in the color Holly Jolly. This was from their Christmas sock box of 2021 and it is a really soft color. This was actually the same yarn that I used to make my Holly White sock in. So I'm still working on that skein. So I've got two socks, a, short, a pair of shorties, and um, like a mid-calf sock. And I still have, I think, at least 10 grams left. So that was pretty good for a skein. Now let's jump into works in progress. My first work in progress is my Be Simple Variations shawl. This is by Carolyn Glout's To Drink. I don't, I'll put it down below. I don't know if I'm pretty sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly. The yarn that I'm using is Monarch Yarn on Etsy in the color Ocean Fade. It is currently measuring 49 and a half inches. I don't know the depth. The last time I checked it was nine inches, but I've worked a little on it since then. Um, this was part of, on my, we had, if this is your first time checking in, um, I recently, maybe a couple of weeks ago, created a Turtle Burger Crochet and Knitting Podcast Ravelry group. And this was a very informal, fun, just uh, knit along. Um, a few of us made the same one. They've all finished theirs. I'm still working on mine. <laughs> but um, it is 
it is just lovely. I'm still gonna work on it. I think it needs to be a little bit longer. Um, and of course it will block out some, but I am loving this. I have another one planned that I'll show you the yarn for in a little bit. Um, my next work in progress is my Holly White sock, except I've got all my needles twisted up here. So I'm turning, uh, the Holly White sock is a pattern by McKaylee of Breaking Yarn. I am turning, turning it into a shorty sock. Um, and I will tell you what all these different things <laughs> mean. I'm using my Chalgu 40 inch 2.25 US one um, size needle using Magic Loop, of course. Um, the yarn is Huntington Valley yarns in the color red purple. My lighting is really off today. Sorry about that guys, just is what it is. And I have made it through to the, um, I'm about to start the um, heel term. These are gonna be a priority because I really want to submit these into McKaylee's um, until June 30th. She's having a Holly White cow on Ravelry and probably Instagram. I'm not on there, so I just do Ravelry, but, um, or I don't use it anymore. I guess technically my name is still there. Um, anyway, so I am liking this yarn and all of these crazy things. So it's a cuff down sock. You do two by two. And I did adjust the sock actually. Um, I usually use a 56 stitch count sock. I started this at 52 since I'm making it more into like an anklet. And then when I got to the seventh round of the second repeat, um, it's an eight round repeat. When I got to the seventh round of the second repeat of <laughs> some pearl, um, I increased it back to 56. I did two increases on each needle so that I would be good for working the heel flap and gusset because technically I made it through those, but I could not get the num the math to work out correctly with that, even though I don't, I don't know why. But anyway, so I increased it back to 56. These red markers were my two repeats for the leg. And then on the heel flap, what I like to do is put a stitch marker in the beginning row, it's a slip stitch heel. So this is the first row, this is the first purl row, and then these are the last two rows of the um, heel flap. And then each of these are just marking um, every seven rounds because it's a, for the size that I'm making the extra small, um, it's a 28 row heel flap. So that's just every seven rows because I get confused. So I, these are, these socks will be a priority because I want to finish them by June 30th to put into her Holly White cow. And then also I am making a little lady, a matching pair. I've kind of undecided what to do on her. So I've only made her one leg repeat. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna make hers longer, make hers an anklet, I haven't really decided. But I am using my, these are 2.25 millimeters well. These are my um, Chalgu, um, what do you call them, twisty shorties or something. And I just put all the cables together so that I could do magic loop. Um, the next project I started uh, to show progress on is Turtles Barley Hat by 10 Can Knits. I am currently working the body of the hat. Right now I'm at three inches and gonna be trying to work up until six inches. I, well, that's what the pattern says. I think what I'm gonna do though is have him try it on at five inches because I don't think he's gonna want it very slouchy. And I think six inches based on the pictures makes it pretty slouchy and I don't think he's gonna like that. I am, for these, I'm using my Clover Takumi um, US six, I'm sorry, US eight, five millimeter interchangeable needles. 
And I love this garter ridge that I feel like Tin Can Knits is famous for. If you see that on something, you pretty much know it's either Tin Can Knits or Tin Can Knit influenced. My markers, this was um, from Louise of Adventures with Yarn that I won in a giveaway last year. This key, pro our stitch marker, I'm pretty sure um, was from You Knit I Die when I ordered from her. She, um, she sent a lovely stitch marker and I'm pretty sure it was this one, our Progress Keeper. And then this is just one, like a charm that I, I got a set of charms at Walmart and made it myself with some, got some little rings there. A new cast on that you have not seen is a dishcloth. <laughs> um, so, um, this is the first time I'm using it. This is Nitpicks Dishy. It was a donation from Leslie, um, a viewer and friend. And it is in the color blue. It's a very royal blue, very beautiful. My husband's birthday is coming up. And so I thought I would make him a set of dishcloths with that. Um, that or could be just for his use, whatever he wants. Um, that way, no washcloths get mixed up or anything. I am using my Chow Goo bamboo needles. I think they're called spins or something. I've been trying to remember. Um, it is a US five. That doesn't sound right. It's a 3.75 millimeter needle, but I don't think our five is 3.75. I don't know. That doesn't seem right. Well, I guess so, because isn't a six a four millimeter needle? I don't know. I've been trying to to learn all those. <laughs> I because I usually just stick with millimeters, but I'm trying to learn the actual the appropriate US sizes. But anyway, so this is just a simple classic diagonal washcloth or you know, dishcloth, whatever. Um and I am still in the increase phases. And this is by I can't remember her name either. I'm pretty sure her name is also Carolyn. Um, it is not, it is a free pattern. It is not on Ravelry though. I believe it was on Lovecrafts or something, but I will link it down below. Really great pattern. I like it better because the um, side yarn overs aren't so large that they look, you know, ridiculous. Let's jump into future cast on. For future cast-ons, I have two, and I'm hoping to cast them both on this week. The first one is another Be Simple Variations shawl, and I will be using this. This is Violet Fade by Monarch Yarn on Etsy. Again, she's linked below, and it's actually coming out much darker than what it is in person. Um, so as soon as I finish my Ocean Fade one, I plan to um, cast on violet fade for another one um and then my next future cast on is as i'm sure any sock knitters know we are in the midst of summer sock camp i love it it's my first year doing it and i'm all about the socks and i've been trying really really hard not to cast everything on well in conjunction with summer sock camp is summer sock week starting july 3rd and uh, which is by Nitty Natty. Um, and so I wanted to participate in that since I was making socks anyway. But in watching Natalie's last podcast, she made a comment that, or she mentioned that you can make the first sock of the pair before summer sock camp starts. If, as long as you start the second sock during shark week, um, then you're eligible for the prizes. Personally, I don't really care about the prizes. I just like knit-alongs and participating in that community. And that's what I really enjoy. So I don't really care about prizes. But um, if I happen to finish something during it, then of course I'm gonna <laughs> submit it anyway. So one thing I wanted to make, I mentioned it in my last podcast, is um, a sock by, I th her name is Groove Mom. Um, I don't know her real name, but that's, you know, what she's known as, I guess, Groove Mom. She has a sock called the Florida Girl Summer Socks, 
or some Florida girl shorty socks, some Florida girl socks, something like that. And I really wanted to make them. First of all, I just love the name. And then when I went and saw the pictures, to me, they look like a shark. So I was like, I have the perfect gray yarn. That was also a donation, whoops, by Leslie. And it is Knit Picks Stroll Fingering Weight Yarn. And I was like, that's gonna be the Florida Girl Shorty Socks because it looks like a shark. And what I also thought I would do is because you know sharks are not just exclusively gray they kind of have tones to them I thought I would do a contrast with I have like four of these five gram balls because I thought I was gonna do something else with them and already had them divided but I didn't end up doing it anyway so I thought this would be such a good match for a contrast um, and this this is the mini that came with this these were actually together so this is Southern Schemes in, I uh, believe it was called Frosty. And so that's gonna be my contrast colors. I am not good at changing colors. That's why I don't do contrast heels, toes, cuffs. I try not to, I try to stick with one color, which is why I like variegated because I know I'm not changing colors, but I really want to for this. So what I thought I would do is since I can at least have this casted on and hopefully finish by shark week then I can just do the second one during shark week and I think that would just be so neat so these will be a future cast on for um shark week it's the Florida girl shorty socks now let's jump into some news um so I'm gonna go back to this dishcloth. Um, I decided yesterday, like literally yesterday, <laughs> that I wanted to have another knit along. So I will be hosting on my Ravelry group a dishcloth knit along. It can be any knitted or crocheted dishcloth. Um, to be honest, I don't know if you can sew dishcloths, but if you do, you're welcome to join. Um, so basically any handmade dishcloth. Um, that is going to run from July 1st to September 30th. And then after, when it closes September 30th, I will draw a winner. The prize for the dishcloth knit along will be a Ravelry pattern of your choice up to $10. That's the prize for that. If you would like to join, I have the group link below. There will be a chatter thread and there will be a finished object thread. I encourage double dipping and two examples I can think of for this. Number one, Carla Knits podcast is having her merry make along beginning, I believe, July 1st and running through July 31st. That is, you know, if you want to get a head start on uh, Christmas gift knitting, crocheting, anything like that, that's going to be a gift for um, maybe the holiday season, the wintertime season. That's, that's what that's for. It's a perfect time to do that. If you make a dishcloth to give as gifts, double dip in both of ours. The second option I can think of is I enjoy, I have not started June yet, but I enjoy the kitchen sink shop email dishcloth club. Every month you've heard, if you've been with me a while, you know, I talk about it every month. Um, she sends you a knitted dishcloth pattern for free in your email. Um, and then towards the middle of the month or so, um, she adds them for free on Ravelry anyway. But I enjoy that. If you are a member of that email monthly club, she has a, a Ravelry thread as well that's no prizes. It's a very fun group that you just show your different dishcloths of each month. Double dip in that. There's no prizes in that one. Show your dishcloth there and then hop over to my group and submit your dishcloth 
for a price. Again, my knit, my dishcloth knit along will run July 1st through September 30th. And then I will um, draw a winner and it will be a Ravelry pattern of your choice up to $10. Um, so yeah, I think that's, I think that's that. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, I feel like I'm talking really fast. I'm sorry, guys. If you are still with me at this point, I thank you so much. I have lots of things planned that I need to figure out how to implement. Um, and I have lots of designs in my head that I would really like to start doing that I need to kind of build my confidence up to do that. Um, and actually, I guess I'm kind of scared of once I start putting them you know, writing it down and working them out, just not in my head. They're not going to be as good as they are in my head. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm a little scared of that. We'll see. That is where the future of turtle burger crochet and knitting is trying to go. I hope you all have a fabulous day. Bye. So as long as you start and finish the second sock during sock week camper up, or not sock week, shark week can't. I need a blooper reel. <laughs>